Hi, mums and dads. I want to go through quickly with you how to uh, support your boy in their homework. Um, I'm going to go through each of the different elements of your homework. Just a quick to start, we do homework slightly differently in our class. So if you are chatting with mums or dads in other classes, you will see that I adjust the program. I understand that our boys have also got some extras from their speech and language therapist or their OT therapy that they are needing to do at home. So I remove some of the um, extra reading and I just want to, our boys to really concentrate on their building blocks so that their learning is solid. So we do not do basket readers and those are more high frequency words and we concentrate more heavily and every single day we do phonetic reading. So I will chat through with each of those elements with you now. Every day your son will come home with the following elements. We won't necessarily do each thing every day, but you'll be able to look into your homework diary and each day we will have ticked off which of these things you will need to work through with your son. Your tick off sheet will look like this and there will also be helpful reminders along the way. Please remember to sign each day. So the first thing I want to chat through is your Mr. Big. This is paired with Reader's Rule. So Mr. Big is the bigger folder and then it goes with the Reader's Rule flip file. Inside your Reader's Rule, you'll find a page with the Letterland characters on it. This is to help your son with their recognition of their letters and also to help mums and dads who might know not know the character names. So we've got each of the sounds. Please remember that sounds need to be crisp and short. And by that I mean we don't say duh, we make it d, because duh if we were to spell it, would possibly be D-U, um, but we need to try and keep the short, the sounds nice and short and crisp. So D, K, M, N. Okay, try and avoid T and P, P. It does help with your um, the reading and the spelling when we come to it. Also, please do not call the sounds by their name. So identify them as their sound. Mm, it is not an M. Because when it comes to our spelling and our reading, if we were to break up the word man, we would only be able to sound it out as M, A, N. And therefore we avoid the names M, A, N because it confuses the boys when it comes to reading. So only use the sound. Then we've also got for you your letter formation um, because all, at, all our words that we write at Highbury, we use the ball and stick. Um, so there is a reminder on exactly where the starting points are for each letter and how to write them. And then only from the end of grade two and into grade three, then we move on to cursive but we only use ball and stick in grade one. At the back of your reader's rule, there is also a number chart. You'll see how those numbers are written. We use this for counting and there might be some activities where your son can use it to point at or identify numbers. Then each week, your boy will get a new page that goes in the flip file. And this is their Mr. Big sentence for the week. This is what we are going to learn. This side of the page, the, page, the side that has the big picture on it and the sentence at the bottom, these are the sentences which your son will be required to identify each of those words, be able to read them and find them in their Mr. Big. And these are often high frequency words. So they are not really able to sound them out, but they need to know what they each say and what they look like. Okay, when it comes to doing your Mr. Big, you need to be um, have open your Mr. Big and then you need to have open your flip file to the sentence that we are working on this week. What we need for the boys to do is, first of all, to be able to identify the words. My name is, I'm using Sika's file here, so he'll have his name in there. My name is Sika. I am at Highbury. Then the boys need to pick up and I'd find each of those words and build the sentence. We always start with green for go, so we're going to find the word my 
and place it and match it. Name, remembering that we do need a finger space between each word. Is, finger space. Seeker. And then we need to finish with the full stop. Okay. And they continue to build that whole sentence out. And then they pack it away. It is very important that they also are part of the packing away because this allows them to remember where everything belongs and ultimately be able to build their sentences that much quicker when we need to use the Mr. Big. On the back of that page is a, um, another set of activities we need to do. At the top it says treasure box words and these are the new words that we introduce each week. So these are the words that need to be learned off by heart. They can't necessarily be sounded out, but, but these are the words that the boys just need to practice over and over again. Then we see reader's rule, Monday and Tuesday. These sentences are only for reading. They are not for building. We simply are encouraging the boys to read these sentences. You'll see that some of the words in the sentences are words that are part of their Mr. Big and then there are other words that they can be sounded out so they are not for building only reading so for instance my name is they can read that easily and then the second sentence I can is not in their Mr. Big but they can sound it out can can sit, sit and then they can go through and read those sentences. So we practice those sentences twice, Monday and Tuesday. Next set of sentences for reading is Wednesday and Thursday. For the next activity, you'll need Mr. Small and your phonic fun. And this is for our practicing of spelling. For your Mr. Small, I'm going to demonstrate using my classroom one. We, you're going to use your phonic fun page book that we've given you. And in your homework book, it will identify which list we're working on that week. So your son will have got the different sounds that they need for the week. And then you will go through list, let's go through list one. So on list one, it'll say you as mum or dad will identify the word. They need to make cat. Remember, we're looking to always go from left to right. Um, so we start with the first sound you can hear, cat, cat. First, you might need to break it up for your son like that, cat, cat. Some of them might find it a much easier to just say cat, but you can almost go in slow motion to draw the sounds out and bring your son's attention to each of those sounds. So cat, we we'll need k, a, s, cat. Very important that once your son has built it, he's able to then go through k, a, t, cat, and then he packs them away and onto the next one. Mat, mat, mat. Remember, we've separated them, so and I will speak a lot with the boys about it that the these are consonants that we start a word with or end a word with and vowels in the middle, they're green because they are by far the most important and we'll chat all about that. Remembering it's very important to go from left to right. For instance, we've only got a single s at the beginning because at a later stage when we start teaching the boys about the rules of what a word can end with, the double S sound is only at the end. So that's why we've separated the two and we always encourage the boys to go from left to right. I'm not gonna to go too much through your writing as you've already been doing so much of it at home. We practice the new letter every single day. For this, it's a crucial to always find the starting point. That's the little white dot and to follow the arrows. So you need to trace over the first three lines. The second two lines, you complete the whole line and then at the bottom, complete the number. The starting points and the direction of the letter are crucial. Finally, your maths activity, this might be something in your numeracy book, which you already know how to do, or it might be a counting activity. This will be identified in your, on your homework page daily. Good luck, and if you need anything, please get hold of me.